Welcome to why do we have both date and date time in AL? Hey, I'm Eric and um, I got this interesting question um, the other day. Um, actually out of the, you know, the simple object designer where we have the concept of the calculated field and, and I have kind of made some, some limitations. So uh, I might just Glass is crooked. I think they're crooked. No, maybe you're good now. Um, I made some limitations so you can only make calculated fields on on certain um, certain data types. And uh, somebody was trying to combine uh, date and duration. And um, actually, let me show you. So so let's let's create a duration and a duration variable uh, is a measurement of time and and that measured in milliseconds so we can say the duration is is a thousand milliseconds that would be a second times 60 that would be a minute times 60 that would be uh, an hour times 24 that's a day right so we could create uh, let's create a date one here then we could say that date one equal today plus duration. That looks, no, there's no compiler warnings here. There's no saying that, hey, you can't do that. That this is, it seems fine. Let's build it. It seems fine. Um, let's run it. Uh, oops. That clearly doesn't work. There was an error. The date is not valid. So what is what what is happening? And but to answer this, we actually go have to go back to the title of this video and talk about what is the difference between a date my glasses are too crooked. Something's weird. Um what is the difference between a date and a date time? Um because if I change this to date time and then I said current date time plus duration and we run this this is on the 13th so what did I do did I even do a message I didn't so let's we did not get an error though so that's a that's a good sign we can do date one let's run this again and we get tomorrow perfect so what is the difference between a date and a date time the reality is and here, here here's the the my definition and then uh, you put uh, something is crooked i need to throw these glasses out uh, maybe i'm this going going harry potter thing here anyway so the date field is not a date field meaning that the date field is not a field where you define a can i say physical point in time uh, an absolute point in time the date field is for an accounting value where the date time field is for a point in time duration is a, a is a length of time so having a an accounting value and add 20 minutes to that that does not make any sense so when we have a date field and here, here's the next thing so so let's do date zero for some reason since the other one is date one so if I go here and say date zero equal today, that will get loaded with today's date. We can we can we can go the other way around and say um, 2024 12 31D. So that's a, a date constant, and then we let's message this. We can see that that's the date. We, if I go back here and and go in and say uh, 
Now I change my time zone from being here on the west coast to uh, to somewhere else. Let's uh, let's head all the way to Tokyo, right? On this, this is still the same time, but because. If let's say we want to post something on December 31st, as uh, we put in here, it doesn't really matter where we look at the transaction. That transaction is stamped for this posting date, this document date, this shipment date, this accounting date, which is a value that is fixed into something. Uh, Microsoft actually got into a lot of issues with this when they introduced the um, without really I, I don't think people really realized but the analysis mode takes a date and then something weird happens in certain time zones with the analysis view because it got turned into a a uh, a date in in JavaScript and and that's a point in time so that's dependent on the time zones and all the settings and all that good stuff so we end up in in some some weird weird things happening but if i have a posting date that i set today to and this is evening on on the west coast so if i have a posting date saying this is posting date today and somebody looks at that transaction right now from europe that posting date is not tomorrow, even though it is tomorrow in Europe at this point in time. That's still the same posting date. So going back to the interesting question here, that when do you use a date and when do you use a date time? You use a date whenever you need to tag something with the appropriate accounting time. The, whether it's a posting date or it's a document date or it's a ship date or it's a due date or, or stuff like that. A date value that has an accounting function where if you create a lock of something when something happens, if we go into the, you know, to the, the, the well, we can just go actually go to the customer. Maybe we can go to the customer table. Uh, and get out of the analysis view and open up uh, created at right so here's a here's a date time because that was something that happened at that point in time inside business central that is stored in the utc value and then depending on and i better change this back from tokyo by the way Depending on your time zone, this will show up differently. Maybe we can actually uh, see that. So let's see again. A datum is created on the 12th at 2.36 a.m. And if I go here and change the, the time zone to back to all the way back here, Pacific Standard Time. Um, there we go. We restart this thing. Let's go get that. Let's, uh, oops. Now it's 11 25 10 36 because when this was created, uh, on the 11th, according to the, my time, it was already the 12th. In Tokyo um, so we have to look them apart and 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 decide that every time it's an accounting value use the date every time it's an actual point in time we use a date time um, and not confuse the two because it doesn't make any sense uh, what in our world did complicate everything I've say, said now that there were a time when 
we did not have the date time field type. So certain uh, certain constructs, there are certain tables inside Business Central that has like a created date field with a date field because you no, know, that was added eons ago before the date time field exists. Uh, there's a bunch of you know older ISVs that are still using date fields. There's a bunch of sorts to say that there's a bunch of dinosaurs out there who, if if you wanted a created date field, you create a, a date field, uh, even though it's more correct to actually use a date time. You can choose to format it only to show the date. If, if that's all you, you need. But the date time field represents a point in time where something happened or will happen or what it is, where the date field is an accounting value of that date. It doesn't matter if it's morning and evening, it doesn't matter what time zone you observe the data in, it's always the same value. Anyway, that was a. Uh, that was my, uh, was it this is a rant? I don't think it was a rant. It's just that was, that was the small lecture on date versus date time in AL. Now you know. And uh, if you want to know even more, this video is for you. There's more AL hacking going on here. Check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.